Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and uh, yeah happy Christmas or Merry Christmas to everybody well this time I will uh, take um, a friend of mine gave me this um, fungus uh, I mean there is a lot of fungus in this <laughs> but I will show how to maybe maybe just remove the um, the fungus in this uh, AFS uh, Nikoa um, 55 millimeter uh, to 300 millimeter and it's a uh, 4.5 to 5.6 is a G and a an ED uh, VR and uh, just to not forget with all those it's a DX lens. <clears throat> so that's clear. There will be, yeah, a, at least uh, two parts. Uh, the one where I disassemble the whole lens because uh, it's not only on the front here, there is also on the back, inside somewhere here. But uh, let's have a look. Uh, how it looks if we take a torch through it open the aperture and uh, of course we can see it from the front there is a lot of hmm not so good but uh, if we go on the back <laughs> uh, you can see there <laughs> there is really a lot and it's not the back lens here that is dirty it's simply just there is a lot of fungus inside there so uh, how to get into that I mean I missed the nameplate well <clears throat> and you can see somebody else has been trying to go in and uh, actually unscrew the uh, next uh, lens group but couldn't and I can see there is also some marks here well I have been into the lens uh, and take a sneak peek inside and um, yeah it uh, yeah we have to disassemble a lot uh, to go in especially to the back here and the middle with the uh, VR uh, lens section but uh, and also from the front here uh, as we can see in here um, the moving element in here there uh, we have to go in I mean in some here uh, and then we simply need to disassemble the whole lens so how to do that it's not that hard but keep in mind there are some lens element that is not to be unscrewed we need some tools at least some <laughs> yeah two JIS screwdrivers as uh, just to remember this is a Japanese lens so we work with JIS screwdrivers so um, I use a 2.5 millimeter and 2.0 millimeter JIS those are from Moody tools uh, which I buy at ifixit.com a uh, collection of uh, tweezers in different size I made myself a rubberized tweezer this is a tweezer for stamp collectors with rubberized end I mean you can buy some of those with the uh, plastic rubber look alike something but um, I think this one will work better so I ground it, I gr um, <laughs> ground paint, and then uh, put on the uh, plastic coat dip, clear, and then uh, file it so it has the very pointed tip. Now, a collection of uh, dentist tool is also very handy. A lens blower and this is the uh, Orbit uh, HEPA blower which I like because there is a filter on it 
some rubber tool can also be very handy. I mean, it could be the the famous uh, rubber cone from Japan Hobby Tool, or this one, which is a selection of nine different. Uh, here you will see two of them, <clears throat> and. In some way, sometimes I go to the uh, plumbing section in the in the uh, hardware store, and uh, those rubber here are really sticky. It's uh, even more sometimes than those, and much more than this. Now you can get them in many different sizes, and uh, it's the uh, this one. You can probably see what type it is. I know it's hard to see. We just uh, have a look on it, and the, or you can pause the video. Now, it's a 56.6 millimeter outside here, and uh, it's good. It actually fit on here to get the front lens and maybe the front uh, retaining ring off. Now, we also need some cleaning fluid, uh, and I in this I will use uh, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, just so we have that clear, it has to be a D in the end, and it has to be split it up here. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> it was just misspelling. Okay, and uh, I will also use the Eclipse. Um, sometimes I, I think it works really good. Sometimes I also use the uh, lighter fluid, sometimes, but not for now. A lens blower is also very handy. And uh, I use a electric lens sucker, which I made myself. Um, so it, it works really good. Of course, we use, also use a uh, soldering iron. Now, let's get into the work. And we can just head off to take off the rubber uh, grip here. And with a soft tool, I mean, um, doesn't have to be sharp. It's a tool. <coughs> we can just this is, dentist tools is really good, and this is off now. And uh, yeah, so the retaining ring here. Um, I can use, or at least I can try to use the uh, gasket here, or I could use my homemade, uh, this is a compass, which I have uh, filed and grind the end, the tip, so it can fit on here, and uh, in that way unscrew it. But we can try to see if we uh, can unscrew with the gasket. Remember to set the um, AM. Um, auto manual uh, focus uh, to manual because then you can work with the the uh, front barrel or you can just zoom up in to 300 so we have a better grip here let's see if it will work yeah cool I mean I can also show if you want that uh, that is also possible, but I think you sometimes have a better grip on this because the retaining ring is made of plastic. Hmm. Just so you know it. If there was a nameplate on this, you could use. Oh, sorry. Uh, you could use a uh, spade or a flat tool to simply take off the 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 name ring but uh, it's not the case here so just unscrew it and it comes out it's made of plastic take care of it so there hmm. just my microphone now to the front lens uh, there are two notches one there you might see there and there is also something over here yeah I could use my 
my rubber tool or I could use my other rubber tool. Uh, it can fit over and unscrew it. But I could also use my, if it sits too tight, it could be, uh, I could simply just uh, put the lens tool in here. Sometimes it's safer than uh, using the rubber tool because if there's anything just a tiny uh, element on here you will scratch the lens so well it depends on what you're working with now set it in and have a good grip and unscrew it counterclockwise and we can then use the rubber tool uh, the enough and let's see so there where's the notch so there and then continue on screw So, and uh, yeah, we can just continue with this one. Inside here, there is a spacer. Uh, if we take the lens element out, flip it over. Here you will see there is a um, very thin, it's made of aluminium. So keep that in mind. It goes over here so now the front lens uh, group sits okay uh, it's not it's not possible to unscrew it uh, as I see it there isn't any ring or so but uh, how does it look well it's only dusty so there shouldn't be any problem with that <clears throat> when we come to that now put the lens in a safe place so and then we look into the into the uh, more yeah you can see the ring in here it was already damaged when I receive it and I mean somebody else has seen to um, to try to use the two notch here so in that way do not use a lens spinner on this lens no way it's not meant to be unscrewed that way so uh, keep that in mind now we need to go deeper into it and uh, we can just take off this plastic here cover is really somebody has really tried to do something with the lens so it's just a cover now here you can see how it it looks uh, the way it works And the focus can go on. Now I need to come into here, into this area here. But uh, to go that way, I need to take off the zoom ring, the uh, focus barrel, this uh, tube, and I begin from the back. Sounds crazy, but that's the way it is. So, <clears throat> to get the the uh, mount off, well, there are two screws. I mean, there are actually five screws, but there are two small here, there, and there are one, two, three. This one 
is not meant to be off. No. Now, I need a uh, smaller. Uh, there is a 2mm JIS to unscrew this. And this one here. And number three. Out with those. It's good to have a magnetized screwdriver uh, in this case. Let's make it a little easier. Take out the screws for the contact bridge. They are smaller and countersunk. So, come on, little fellow. There. <coughs> now, we can just zoom out a little and take out this piece of plastic. Here. Now take care. Take good care of the contact bridge. What we need to do is to um, move this out of the way, so it's there. See, the very sh it's very short on this end here. Now take off the mount and take good care of uh, not zooming out because then you could damage the contact bridge. So put it to something like 300 or so and uh, then I can unscrew this uh, the mount. And take good care of the aperture pin. I mean, it's not this one, but uh, this one that goes into the deep of the lens. Now wiggle a little and here it comes out. Put it aside somewhere. There is or there might be one or two, maybe three small uh, spacers in here and to just to make sure how is the orientation is you can just set a mark here where the little hole because if you put it that way it will not fit as you can see just to make it easier more easy to put in now next thing is the screw here for the um, for the uh, yeah contacts <laughs> switches <laughs> uh, set the AMN to A down. It doesn't matter how this sits; uh, it's just a switch, electronic switch. But this is uh, mechanical into the gear, the focus gear. Now, unscrew that. It's only with one screw. There. And then we can take with a good grip here, we can lift off the, um, the contact switch here. So you can see how it looks. Take care of the flex. Good care. It's tiny. I mean, it's not tiny. It's, it's very thin so it breaks easily. Here you also can see the fork here that goes in to the gear here. So when set to A this is going down but when set to uh, M it will lift up the gear. So keep that in mind it has to stay on A when you disassemble or assemble the lens again. Now 
since we have it here it just fall out in your hand um, we can easily lift off the uh, the back here so there and still lift it up so you can take it over here and uh, lift it out if we can do it mm -hmm. should be pos possible well if i go over to here should it be able no well i can just set it to m and then I should be able to put it out. Hmm. Not. Okay, so there we are. And then this is out. Now, it has to sit somewhere on the circuit board. And if we go over to the one circuit board here, um, with my rubberized tweezer, it should be quite easy to unhook this one here. Sometimes it works, sometimes not so easy. Well, there are two tiny pins here that we could just uh, wiggle it out a little. Take care of the circuit, uh, the circuit board itself. So here we are. And then it falls out. <clears throat> now, so we have a uh, almost <laughs> naked lens, and um, can just head off to take all. I mean, unhook all the um, the flex cable here, and also here, and this one, and we have to unsolder the three wires here. Remember how it sits. I made myself a little note here, how it looks, just to make sure how it actually looks. So uh, if we look here, this is how it sits. So the C is the red, and the G is green, and the I is blue. <laughs> Not the I. <laughs> I is our blue, yeah. And it's go to the silent wave uh, motor, which sits here. Don't touch it. So. That would be nice if we can get them out. And you can see it actually works pretty good. And so there. If there's space enough, it's a good tweezer in that way. If not, the. Yeah, I don't know what they do in the factories. This is the wire for the for the GMR uh, sensor that sits. Um, where does it sit? Uh, somewhere down here. The GMR sits here. Now, take care of that because it's a very thin flex, especially in the other end. So now it's free. And also this one for the uh, VR sensor sits here. If I can come under it. So there. And also up here. So wiggle a little. Maybe I have to modify this uh, tweezer a little more. It's, uh, not, it's not sticky enough. I have to find another solution. 
but it's better with the thicker one as you probably can see hmm. so here we are now there's one uh, wire we need to unsolder more is the G you probably can see this G here it's the middle soldering point it will say this one here so I've written down uh, the G D and G uh, which is the middle that's why it's good to have some notes So there, and we can also unsolder the the black wire over here, which I also put a um, uh, just written down what color it is, just to make it easier for myself and maybe also for you. There, and also the three wires need to be unsoldered oh sorry <laughs> um, and the last one mm -hmm. come on oh, go away there's a green wire so now it's free so now all I mean the circuit board is uh, oh I just forgot the the GMR cable here so now it's free <coughs> and then it can be taken off Oh, I can see <laughs> it was not necessary to take off the B the black one here uh, so I will just solder it on again mm -hmm. so there because I will just unscrew it here out with that and uh, keep in mind how things are I mean the screws you unscrew where do do they sit so the circuit board sits with the two screw for each of them there And there's one here. Sometimes they will not come out <laughs> with the magnetic screwdriver. So now it should be possible to take off all the electronic parts. There, gently. And then it's out. So there. And we will just put them aside so we know where they should sit. Now, with all the electronic parts, of course, I also need to unscrew the, the, uh, the silent wave motor. And uh, it sits with two screws. And by the way, I took a picture before I disassembled the lens, which looks uh, not so good. And uh, I hopefully will have it better when it's done. 
and clean it. So there are two long screws for the silent wave motor. So out with that. And just uh, also hold on a second. There is another, I mean, this is the, the whole set of the focusing gear, but there is also another one. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, it fell off. And it's this one here. This is a tiny gear, plastic. And it has to sit this way. So when it's on here, there is a, uh, you can see it's not around. And this one goes onto the lens first, into the lens here. And then the, um, the silent wave motor on after that. Now, <clears throat> so what? then well i will take off the name plate here name ring or whatever it calls name barrel because then i can come in and take off the uh, the whole zoom ring don't think about taking this off yet it could be if your, if your lens is only infected on the front, so there is no need, I mean, on this, the second lens element, there's no need for taking off this. But my lens is uh, pretty much infected on almost all lenses. So, um, yeah, I will take off this ring here, the name, um, barrel. Before doing so, I have uh, set some mark around here. I have a reference mark here, which is some way around here, uh, which is good to have kind of um, your starting point, because all the things would have to be uh, assembled in a in a way that uh, you cannot do it uh, I mean you can do it wrong but in all end you, you will end it up with the when you are done so three no four screws one here there there and there they need to be unscrewed and uh, when we do this we set this uh, the lens to to uh, 300 and then unscrew the four screws take really good care of the flex because uh, they are thin and you will you mean you maybe can break them easily And uh, right here. <laughs> now, be careful when unscrewing the last screw here, because um, it could. Uh, Uh, hold on a second. I just remember there was one thing we need. I need to do. Uh, so I just put one screw in again, just here, because uh, I need to unscrew the zoom key, which is. Uh, hold on a second. It will sit here. 
So at 55 millimeter, there is one uh, key down here. It will say this key here will sit with two screws, can only sit in one position. So unscrew that, because then you are free of the uh, of the zoom ring. But have a good grip here down here. So that's it. Because then the zoom ring can move. to 300. Now, then I can unscrew the the last screw here. So, here we are. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> of course, I need to take out the zoom key. Yeah, just forget it. That was my not so good. Ah. I just forget it. Sorry for that. Then I should be able to take it out. So, well, things happen. There are many elements in here that need to be uh, taken apart. Taking apart. <laughs> now, also the zoom brush itself. Oh, sorry. And there is one thing to mention that uh, the zoom brush, which sits here, you see. Um, there is not really any mark or so, but there is a, uh, anyway, there is a tiny part of the, uh, the copper, I mean the gold plated uh, copper that we can see down here. And uh, if I have a small tweezer, I can show what I mean. You see, so a little of the grease is away. There's a little tiny pin. I know it's difficult to see, but here there is a tiny pin where the wave, I mean the, the deep of the contact here has to go to sit in line with that's important. Sorry for that. But uh, when it's fully to to 55, uh, set to 55, it should be at the very end and then the uh, the contacts should be in line with the little uh, gold plated copper um, circuit. So I will unscrew that also and then get it out take care of it so then it's free there and this screw away now so we are ready <laughs> Finally, so turn the zoom ring all the way over to 300 and continue a little. There, set a mark where this ring come off because then you can lift off this one here. 
holding on the zoom ring. Take care of the flex cable. So there. And uh, then we have to lift up this here. Wiggle a little. Mm -hmm. I mean, it should be possible. We have to turn it a little. So, then it's out. Whew. Now, and here we have the zoom ring itself. It can go from one end to the other, but uh, it will not go that long. It will only go from here to there so now next thing is you have to take out is a GMR um, which you do not have to touch and uh, especially which you have to be really careful with is the magnetic strip here you see the shiny band here it's just like a tape uh, in a tape recorder so when moving the the zoom uh, which we cannot do at the moment it will go it will yeah we can so you can see the the zoom I mean the <laughs> focus will go from one end to the other and the GMR will read uh, the, the information on the magnetic strip so if it's dirty or so it can uh, cause some some uh, that the zoom I mean the, the focus will hunting so we need to take off the little the very um, thin flex here Be careful with that. So there, it's free. I mean, the cable is free. Now, and then I will, um, <clears throat> I will unscrew the two screws here. The GMR uh, sensor can only sit in one position, and there are two tiny pins: one there, and one there plastic so the GMR can only sit in uh, in that way don't touch the magnetic tape I mean strip and then unscrew it be careful And put it that side. Put it some safe place. <laughs> now, <clears throat> then we have the zoom ring itself, uh, and we can just take it off. So there, and it's free. Now. Then we are much closer into what we want to see. See, now we can uh, only move the, the zoom function. And uh, that way, zoom in and out. Now, I have my reference mark, which will be very important because the zoom, uh, the, the front barrel here, needs to be put in, in correct position. So there are three screws here, one here, 
with the that is my reference mark and I also put in a um, a mark here it could be whatever mark but you also have to sit on here so you know the exact position and uh, I also make a mark here that is almost in line with the it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be precise but uh, at least you have your reference here I also need to take off the strip here because uh, some parts would need to be this is uh, take apart <clears throat> so now the next thing is uh, the um, I need to unscrew this this and this screw because then I can come into the to where I need to unscrew the uh, second lens lens group when I come to that I also need to take off this uh, this uh, barrel I found out there is no need for taking off the three uh, pins here, plate or whatever name they have. So now you can see um, this part here is taken out. I can uh, just unscrew it and remember So you have everything in mind that before you take things apart, it's good to have a mark down here. You probably can see there's a little uh, red something. So keep that in mind. And also when unscrew the the front uh, barrel here and before doing so we need to I set a mark somewhere no it's inside here I mean at least I begin with one mark here probably can see there and uh, then I can unscrew the front here So it will come off. So I set a mark here on the on this. Uh, where did you go here? Set a mark here on this ring. You cannot really see it when it's zoom uh, fully collapsed. But I set a mark here where the this uh, tube come off. I can just uh, show it again. So now I know where it comes off, but uh, just to make sure it's uh, the correct place it comes off. See the pin here. This tiny pin here. There are three of them. One there, there, and over here. But here I set a little arrow there, and I also set a mark here. So let's just do it. <laughs> set here, and I also set a mark inside. <laughs> it's difficult to talk with this one in mouth. <laughs> uh, so I'm pretty sure I mean very sure where this comes off when I you can see it comes off here 
and then I can just pull it out. And this is how it looks. Keep that in mind. And then next thing is um, you see the uh, the zoom I mean the <laughs> the focusing ring here also have a uh, one end and the other end and in the other end there is a tiny screw a stop screw which sits here and um, we need to unscrew that. My reference mark here uh, is uh, also very important. So I go set it uh, to my reference mark here. And the screw is visible. If not, it's the wrong place. So there has to be. Then unscrew this one. There is a special screw. Those are two. And then one should not uh, stamp. I forgot something, which I will uh, show you now. We just screwed in again. Damn. So here we are again. There is a, um, <laughs> sorry for that, I should have mentioned it, all the way to the stop where it cannot go any further and you can see the screw. Now, there is a brush here we need to, un to take out. Before taking it out, we need to set a mark, a scratch in here. I already have done it. Uh, here and on the plastic so the two marks are in line then unscrew it take care of it and the little screw and uh, we could take it out don't scratch the circuit board it's really not the best way they did that. So there, and it's free. Now, then we can take on, <laughs> we can unscrew it. Uh, you can see the stop screw here, and unscrew it. So, what next is to go a little over <clears throat> to um, to the other the end and then click and my where was it my reference mark is here just do it again I've taken out the screw here the stop screw going to my reference mark turning the the uh, inner um, lens section over to here where I set a mark also so you can see it's close in line with the uh, with the uh, contact bridge for the camera then set a mark here and also here it doesn't have to be precise but just so you know where things are going so there you can unscrew it I mean <laughs> take it out so this is how it looks inside yeah that's it next thing is the um, You can see the zoom uh, functioning <laughs> section uh, also need to come off because then I can come into 
the next length element. So, I mean, extend it uh, as much as possible. Then set a mark here on the aluminium and in line with the, your index mark area here because then this one has to sit correct when you put it in so uh, and it sits with three screws you can also see this uh, section here plastic uh, cut out is in line with the with the right uh, flex cable that goes into the the VR section so uh, and I also set a mark here on the plastic just to be sure because I do not have a repair manual for this lens so the only thing I need to do is uh, set my mark now unscrew those three here uh, then we just pull out and there are three pieces of uh, guides uh, in here so there the screw there this one comes out And this one. So now I'm able to pull this off, but uh, be careful because, as you can see, the guides uh, here, this one here, sits with the this uh, track here going down here. The next one sits here going down here and the last one is oh is uh, over here and going all the way down to here so and make sure how they sit you can see the orientation is it's uh, the two sides here so they all have to sit that way So off with that, and um, out with the three guides here. You can see how they look. And this one. Now. Next thing is, uh, I need to go into the lens here. So, if we look at uh, how things are put together, um, I can just uh, put it back to normal. And uh, how do we actually get into this lens group? Well, if we take a closer look, on this uh, we will see some holes <clears throat> my reference mark here there is a hole there there and there so if we look into them we um, do not have to unscrew those screws down there they are for adjusting the lens there and this one down here now so what to do then well there are three screws with plastics there there and there and uh, collapse the the lens uh, i mean the zoom 
because then I can come into it here and there there is also a cover for this um, that need to come off and just extend it a little I have a mark here another mark hmm. set here it's close to those here and uh, I also set a mark here there and there it's my only backup if you miss something now need to take off the the rest of the plastic cover here so we can look into it so there and then it's out not something special <coughs> Now, then we look closer into what we actually need to take out. And um, you can see here, you can set a small scratch here so you're absolutely sure how things are sitting. And also here on the, it's just a tiny mark, it will not and do anything harmful so next the three screws there are no adjusting um, in those like many other lenses <coughs> so it's a plastic thingy you can see it's not an eccentric it's just a round and they are all the same as I see it out with that next the last one and um, then we can take it out. There. Keeping a finger here just so the thing will not fall out. So. And uh, out with a little plastic thingy. So. And see the lens goes in. So I can just uh, flip it a little and let it come out but and since I have my mark I know exactly how it should sit and it uh, you cannot put it in wrong so this is the next lens group so there here we have it and uh, it's not possible to take the lens out so even if you think this ring here it's not a retaining ring so the only thing I in my opinion I think it's uh, it's put in from the back and that's it so it's not possible to take it out so uh, I will clean it on both sides when it comes to that So now next is <clears throat> because I would like to go further into the uh, lens here so I also need to take out the back uh, I mean the the aperture section with the uh, VR uh, module and for that hmm yeah I need to unscrew three screws here on the back and I also need to unscrew the three screws here 
and there. Um, so, next thing is set a mark where things are sitting. I mean, which screw holes you 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 use. There's one here. There is one here. One over here. And the last one is here. Close to the... So, out of those, and ah. will not come out sometimes they will <laughs> new well would a help for them sure with tracer it will be easier So uh, the lens is more complicated to take apart than other lenses. So here we are uh, by taking off this screw here. We also need to take out this screw that holds the, the flex cable here. <coughs> And uh, for that, we will simply uh, extend the zoom like this, and uh, should be able to take out the the uh, the plastic here, at least as I remember. Mm -hmm. Did I forget something? No. Well, there are some spacers in here that we need to take care of. Also need to take care of the flex here. Uh, so we not damage it. It's not an easy lens to work with, so but we will make it. So out with that. As you probably can see here, there are two, I mean three spaces here, and there's one here. It was just because when I was in it or earlier, I uh, simply glue, I mean with some nail polish black um, just glue the spacers in so they would stick to there now the next thing is to um, here you can see the the back of the lens group and the uh, VR section and the aperture section in here and I need to go in there because there's also fungus in it hmm not good but uh, I think it will make it so now then um, remember to set mark here oh space for on the floor <laughs> I will hit it later here set a mark here there 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 and also um, when it um, when it comes out so by taking out this screw here and um, this screw and the last one here so then you can pull out the whole section here 
and uh, yeah that we will just do so to make it I think okay to make things a little more easy um, we can just do so because then it will remember how the uh, this um, screw and the plastic thing will sit and also here and also here <clears throat> Then out with those three. And the plastic thingy. Nothing special about that. And where did it go here? I need another glove here. <laughs> so out with that. And here. A bit sticky. Out with this plastic. And we also need this one. So then I should be able, since I have my reference mark here, where did it go? Somewhere here. Um, this is my reference mark in the back of the thingy here. I also set some mark here. Uh, you probably can see, but we can just do it more clear. So then I'm able to pull the things apart. So this is how it looks. Wow, amazing engineering. And uh, here we can see how the aperture is working and you probably can see there is even more fungus. Okay. There is really a lot of fungus if we uh, open the aperture here. You can probably see uh, really a lot. Even more if we look from the back. There are two <coughs> there are two lens elements in here uh, which I need to take apart. And here again there are spaces around somewhere so I need to take a part here there and there so just remember to set a mark where things are uh, sit so you have an idea of where you put them again there and there. My reference mark is here. So uh, and since there's also thin spaces here uh, which I actually put in some um, nail polish uh, just to have them uh, stick together to the spacer. So now I will also take that out. <laughs> the spaces in here are thin and they are all the same uh, thickness. So this one out. Oh gosh. Sometimes it's good with a magnetized screwdriver and sometimes it mm, can be a little annoying. 
but in general it's a good thing now take out the um, aperture assembly uh, with one lens so this is how it looks inside here you can see the aperture is working correct this one is the um, the VR section and the back lens group so uh, if we take a closer look you can see how it vibrates and this is how it locks so it can only go in, in I mean two direction side by side you can see it will not really do much at the so it's more on the side it, it works and I also need to go in here so we're <laughs> it, it's not something um, yeah it will happen in next part so see you sooner